Warning. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Trying to duplicate the shown procedures may result in serious injury or even death. The encorded gold is dissolved in 50 to 50 nitric acid to distilled water. When there are no more brown fumes evolving, the silver nitrate is decanted and fresh portion of acid is added. When the fresh acid produces no reaction, the silver nitrate is decanted and the black residue in the beaker is covered with concentrated nitric acid and set to boil for a couple of minutes. Gold clumps together and changes color from black to tan. Nitric acid decanting, followed by addition of hydrochloric acid, and again minute amount of nitric. When all gold is dissolved, the solution is cooled and diluted with distilled water. The liquid is filtrated and the vessels are washed between each cycle until there is no sign of cloudiness. The crystal clear solution was left on the hot plate and powdered oxalic acid was added.
Since the addition of oxalic acid produced no visible reaction, I've decided that solution's pH was not high enough, so I've added some potassium hydroxide flakes. And again no visible reaction. I left the solution to boil, and as soon as it started boiling a yellow shining mat were appeared. After some boiling, the yellow shining matter turned into nice blonde, gold sediment. After further boiling the sediment turned into gold mushroom, rising to the top of the solution from the evolved carbon dioxide. Further boiling produced no change in the color of the solution, which was light yellow, a sign that not all gold has precipitated. I've decided to play safe and decanted the solution into another beaker, leaving the gold mushroom behind. Then I covered the gold with distilled water and left it on the hot plate to boil. I've started adding more oxalic acid to the solution in hope that it will lose its yellow color, producing more of the gold sediment.
and indeed some gold clumps did appear. But the color was still not to my liking, so I've added a couple of potassium hydroxide flakes to the boiling solution. That was very stupid of me since the reaction was violent, the flakes almost jumped out the beaker. The solution became cloudy with orange tint. Maybe too much potassium hydroxide, so I've added more oxalic acid to counteract the hydroxide, and left the solution to boil. After some boiling the solution cleared but still with a hint of yellow, so I've added more oxalic acid. In the meantime the gold mushroom is boiling in distilled water. This time I've made concentrated potassium hydroxide solution and by adding it I noticed purple cloud forming and redissolving. At this point I've decanted the now clear solution into a round bottom flask and moved the gold clumps to the beaker with the gold mushroom.
Then I moved the gold while still moist to the melting dish. Drying the gold sponge with a soft flame. Melting. Looks pure. Removing the borax by boiling in dilute hydrochloric acid. While I was melting the bead, the decanted solution in the round bottom flask had turned light brown and cloudy, and more gold has precipitated. I guess instead of adding copious amounts of reagents I should have left the solution to settle overnight. Lesson learned.
and the result is a 2.85 grams pure gold button plus the priceless knowledge. Like and subscribe for more shared experience. Thanks for watching.